after ending our season at but note Eric Ten Hag is going to have to put his nose here in place to see to it that the Glazers just don't even want to request it because it's seen it's vivid and he is ready to face them to demand takeover explanation because he's desperate to make more signings to strengthen his squad welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and where you're watching us from i go by the names of rock and david smash the like button comment and share if you're totally watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss that on stories that you do upload in here on a daily ten hag is hoping clarification on the future of Manchester united obviously from the glazers and we are talking julian timber a player that eric ten hag was interested in what is he doing in london what is he doing in london and obviously he was one of the spectators that took part as united played against city in the fa cup finale and lastly there is a story coming in from Plattigal about a player 27 years a uh, 27 years of age and he's a french international who can play as a right back and central defender that is benjamin pavard who was gonna hate to tell bayern munich my end my journey with you ends here and I want out. United linked to Pava for the second time. This time round, it's coming in from the Bosos, coming in from Germany. That is play to goal. Another tier one journalist when it comes to breaking news of transfers. Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, time has come for us to assess our season. We as fans are already going to hate to give Eric Ten Hag his props and flowers, but there is one person who is really willing known to really look like he's getting these flowers. And it's the same person known as Eric Ten Hag. He's demanding for more from the Glazers because it looks like he doesn't really want to be caught up into <coughs> this darkness of the club's ownership because no one knows what decision is going to be made when and how so a story coming in from Moloch mirror you know the mirror have been so much close to eric ten hag and they've gone ahead to broke very many stories ever since eric ten hag came in at Manchester united they've been so 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 accurate when it comes to eric ten hag and they've gone ahead and really told us the following about eric ten hag that ten hag is hoping for clarification and the future of man united this week Ten Hag has been told that he will be given a clearer picture of whether Man United owners intend to sell or remain in the coming days. Now, Eric Ten Hag, you know, he's a player, sorry, he's the manager of Manchester United, and obviously, according to how the sooner is going to hate to go, he has anticipations of how his squad needs to be like, and obviously, that calls for money. He told us in the press conference that summed up the Premier League that the club told him that money is going to be available and there are rumors outside there that United are really willing to spend close to 200 million pounds this summer. With what Ten Hag is going to hate to go through, he needs clarification of the new owner. First and foremost, does the new owner want him at the club of Manchester United? And obviously, it would be mad if a totally new owner came in and obviously sacked the manager like Eric Ten Hag was going to hate to do a very good job. He has going to hate to take us to the next level, finished third in the Premier League, knocked out the quarterfinals of the UEFA Europa League, won the Carabao Cup and played the finale against Man City where we saw ourselves lose by two goals to one. That is Eric Ten Hag's performance this season. And I think every owner would like to keep Eric Ten Hag as we've heard from the likes of <coughs> Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the side of, Sa of Sheikh Jassim Al Thani they all want to keep Eric Ten Hag on the job so I think the clarification he's hoping for is how much are we having to spend because Ten Hag doesn't want to know about how much the Glazers are going to get whether the Glazers are staying or not all what he wants is how much money is up for grabs, you know? How are negotiations going to be? How many players am I going with on the preseason to America? That's all what Eric Ten Hag wants to be knowing this season, you know? That's the only thing that he wants to know, and he doesn't want much. So, he's hoping to get clarification from the Glazers, obviously, and the board of Manchester United, 
on who is really going to be here or not and if at all the process is still <coughs> lingering on what is the plan we have as Manchester United as far as reinforcing our squad is really concerned Tenaga is gonna have to call in for five signings this summer he wants two central midfielders a CDM and a one who can play as a number eight alongside Casimiro then a central defender the list is really growing in you know there is Kim Min Jae first choice center back there is uh, Pavana, Julian Timba and very many others Disasi in the mix then a center forward for that the list is really long and Ten Hag is demanding for a goalkeeper too five <coughs> players are what Eric Ten Hag is focusing on to see to it that they arrive at Manchester United and a question um a question really came in through after the match of Man City about the takeover and this is what Ten Hag had to say in this moment I don't want to discuss that it is about finalizing the season we have to be quiet analyze go in depth set right conclusions then take action so he has spoken to the media about the takeover that before he really goes ahead to get and really get hopes all clarifications or illuminations coming in from the glazers on who is going to be the next owner he's first going to sit down analyze go in depth and set right conclusions then take action because the finale might have really given him a different picture altogether on certain players maybe he has changed his thoughts on David De Gea. Maybe he has changed his thoughts on Victor Linderov, Casimiro, Bruno Fernandes, Ericsson, you know. So, that final needs to be really a starting point on what Ten Hag is going to be doing in the transfer window. But we all know that Ten Hag has been talking to different players. Kim in Jay, Rasmus Hojland, Goncalo Ramos, uh, Mason Mount, Rabio, Harry Kane, you know, there is a long list of players that Ten Hag has been speaking to that he wants to sign at Manchester United and he wants to deliver them as soon as possible. He doesn't want to really fall a culprit of what he was last summer when he really told the board that please, before you get me Frankie De Jong, don't sign in any player before that deal is really is really on and Moloko Mira summed it up by telling us the following that Eric Ten Hag is desperate to be given the go ahead to step up his summer transfer plans now ten hag is desperate to be given a step up of his summer transfer plans and obviously that is coming in from moloko mira and it's obviously the glazers are supposed to give him a step up to go in because if there is no money then how is he going to bring in players so they have to give him a green light over this now this player, Julian Timba, is one of those players that Eric Ten Hag wanted to sign fastly when he landed at Manchester United. Julian Timba snubbed Eric Ten Hag in fear of not playing in the World Cup. Now, we've been told by the Frederick, he's really a very good journalist coming in from... Where does he come in from? Is it... Is it Dutch or Norway? One of those one, one of one of those countries that here is former United player Eric Ten Eric, here is former Eric Ten Hag player Julian Timber at Wembley today in attendance for Man United versus Man City final. Ajax reacted, rejected multiple approaches by Manchester United for Timber deal last summer. Current deal expires in 2025. Now, why did he have to show up in London? That is Julian Timber. And let me show you how he showed up as we walk to the pitch to watch the game that is julian timber and he really had a spectacle of a full 90 that united played against man city and we are beaten by two goals to one so i know lots of stories are going to come up with effect from monday on david de Gea and julian timber coming in and watching Manchester united shows that he's really trying to really push a move on to say to it that he leaves Ajax. I think he's going to regret a little bit because United was having a huge appetite, was having a huge appetite to sign him in the summer of 2022 and he turned that chance. But he has come out 
and told us all out that this summer he's pushing the move out of Ajax. He has told the board and it was something they agreed on when he was really extending his contract until 2025 that he's going to be sold. And you know what Ajax does? They play hardball. They played hardball on to Anthony. Anthony had told them from January that I want to leave this club. The club told them, told him you're going to leave. But you saw what happened. He had to go on to strike to really leave the club of Ajax. So let's wait and see where Julian Timber is going to go. Is Eric Ten Hag going to go back for the player? I don't know. But I think Kim J is a better fit for Eric Ten Hag. And obviously, what makes the deal of Kim J easy enough to go on and really get it out of the way? It's the fixed Larry's clause that is in his deal. That is 45 to 50 million pounds is what any club is supposed to pay in the first 15 days of July to get Kimin J out of the way. But for Julian Timber, you can go to Ajax because you have a very bad negotiating history with them that you signed Lisandro Martinez at 46 million pounds and Anthony at 85. If they can go in and really call in for like 60 million pounds because you are Manchester United and you are bad at negotiations and they can ransom you. So I think that's why Ten Hag doesn't want to go to Ajax anymore because he felt like that deal of Anthony was supposed to be 30 million pounds less. At 55 million pounds, it would have really brought Anthony to Man United. So let's wait and see how that's going to pan out as far as Julian Timber's desire to leave Ajax is concerned, but he was part of the audience that respected our game as we lost to Man City by two goals to one. And lastly, let's talk about this French man, Pavar. Pavar. Man United's interest in Pavar is confirmed. Bayern are willing to sell him for a fee between 30 to 40 million euros plus add-ons or a potential swap deal. That is Plenty Gold. Plenty Gold is a very credible journalist coming in from Germany and you all know that this is something great. You know, what has really gone ahead to really give me a thought that Eric Ten Hag might be wanting Pavar is that he can play both the right back position and the central defense position. That is Benjamin Pavar. And uh, when you look at the situation that we are into, it's really unpredictable. Ten Hag has not been given green light on whether he can spend huge money on to defenders. He sold onto an idea of bringing on another elite central defender, and his first choice is Kimin J. But Kimin J is going in for 45 to 50 million pounds. You know, Man United right now have a budget of 100 million pounds to spend. Now, Ten Hag has been told that you have to sell to buy, but for any elite manager, you should be having a fallback plan. If Kim Inja doesn't come in through, what do you do? At least you go in for Benjamin Pavar, you know, who can play as a central defender on the right side of central defense and play as a right back. So, I think it's great to be having him as a backup. I think if I told you were to line up the, first, the choices of Eric Ten Hag as far as central defenders are really concerned, I think Pavar is like a third or fourth choice, but it's not bad to really register interest in such players because of the experience they're really having. He's a winner, he won the World Cup, he won the Champions League, he has been winning the Bundesliga, he comes in with the right mentality. 27 years of age, not bad, and I think 30 million euros, not bad amount of money for him. So Ten Hag is trying to really to widen his options because he knows that things can fall out to be bad, yet he needs to get in players. and. He believes that there are quality players that can get in on a cheap and there are quality players that can get in on a very high amount of money. So let's wait and see how that pans up. But before that story broke, Fabrizio Romano had just told us the following about Benjamin Pava and his desire to quit Bayern Munich. Benjamin Pava will not sign a new deal at Bayern Munich, confirmed as reported by Toby Pava wants to wants to try a new chapter. Current deal expires in 2024. Barcelona have different priorities. Inter asked for Pava in January, but the race becomes 100% open now. So, other people, other teams are interested in Pava. 
and it's going to be a very huge race to enjoy so guys your thoughts on to ten hag demanding united takeover explanation from the glazers are welcome in the comment section below what do you make about julian timber watching the game of man united at old trafford sorry at wembley as we lost to city 2-1 and lastly united is interest in benjamin pavar has been confirmed would you sign him or not good morning i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ may the living true god see you through I'll sign out for now. See you later. I'm out.